Hello, this is Janet Michael. In addition to hosting The Valley today each weekday at noon on the River 95.3, I also produce podcasts, and I'm excited to introduce you to a new podcast series in partnership with Lord Fairfax Community College. Having provided higher education and career training for the past half century, LFCC is tightly interwoven into the fabric of the Northern Shenandoah Valley and Piedmont regions. Join me every week for conversations with current and former students to hear their funny and inspiring stories as we learn about their journey to higher education, the role that LFCC has played, where they are now, and where they plan to go. We'll also talk to current and former professors about their experiences and best memories of LFCC over the past 50 years. Get every single episode as they're released on our website at theriver953.com under the podcast tab, or you can subscribe for free in Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, on Spotify, Amazon Music, wherever you listen to podcasts. Just search for LFCC Stories. Hello, and welcome to The Valley Today. I am your host, Janet Michael. Today's show is part of an ongoing series I'm doing every week this month where I'm sharing some of my favorite places to shop local in our surrounding communities. A few weeks ago, I shopped the Old Town Walking Mall in downtown Winchester. Last week, I was in downtown Berryville. And today, it's all about Shenandoah County. I will say, sadly though, I didn't get to everyone that I wanted to in Shenandoah County, so I do want to give a shout out to Flower and Water, The Buttercup, Woodstock Cafe in Woodstock, plus John Henry General Store in Newmarket. I only had a few hours to shop, I mean chat, this past Saturday, so I didn't make it everywhere, but no worries, I'll get them on a show in the new year. I did make it though to Carrie Hawn's Pottery Studio, Virginia Farmhouse, and Traveler's Treasures in Woodstock, which you'll hear in this segment. So I am standing in the studio of what you will know to be a familiar voice. I am at Carrie Hahn's studio. It is her holiday open house. However, you're listening to this on Wednesday. I'm standing here on Saturday morning. You will have missed it. But Carrie is going to tell me how I can still get some of her stuff either online or in some of the other really cool local businesses that we have around here. Carrie, I love that you and I are having a conversation today and you are not wearing your tourism hat. No, not at all. You are wearing mm-hmm. your potter hat. Yes, and in fact, I'm still pottery mom. We've had this conversation many times before. My kids come home from college this week, and I can turn into Christmas mom again. Uh, I know we've talked about that before, but um, yeah, to answer your question, I do have a website. It's carryhahn.com, and my name is spelled a little unusual. It's K-A-R-Y-H-A-U-N.com, and there is a tab on there called Available Pieces, and that should be updated by the time this airs, where I'll have a few few pieces left you can actually contact me from my website it goes directly to my emails and I check it often so if you're local and you want to come by and pick something up just let me know I can I can accommodate that before the holidays and presumably nobody listening to this is is listening from really far away but I can ship things as well but if you want to go and find my work at a gallery I'm in Handworks Gallery in Winchester I'm at Crozet Artisan Depot down in Crozet near Charlottesville I'm at the Batesville Market in Batesville Virginia and and also at Flower and Water Company down here in Woodstock, they have a handful of cups that are special just to that business. They're pretty sweet cups. And I'm looking around the studio. You have platters, you have coffee cups. I'm buying one today. I've got mm-hmm. uh, several of other ones, but you have bowls. You have a lot of different types of pottery that are very unique, I think. I like to make pieces that are both beautiful to look at. You can hang the platters on the wall and that it's an art piece, but I also encourage the people who buy my work to use them use them often so I make large uh, serving bowls I make medium-sized serving bowls some of my favorite things to make are serving bowls that that sort of hold every day I call them everyday green bean bowls right (laughs) like you just whatever goes on the table in your everyday life so yeah I have a big variety of work that is uh, available here actually one another one of my favorite things are these little dessert plates that they have just this sweet little curve to them which holds a piece of cake and some ice cream and it keeps it from dripping off the edge I didn't even think about using Mm -hmm. them for that because I'm looking at them thinking oh I love those but I don't know what I would do with them other than what you're doing which is display them well they're currently look like they're on display but they stack really pretty and they're just really super cute and they're just the right size I I have a couple of them in my cabinet in the house and I can't help it I have to use them thank you for letting me snag you for a non-tourism related radio show so amazing (laughs) really fun and weird 
So here I am at another one of my favorite places on Main Street. Is it Main Street, Vicki? It is Main Street. On Main Street. North Main Street. North Main Street in Woodstock. I am at Virginia Farmhouse. Vicki Ruckman is chatting with me, and I have a couple of gift baskets. There are some guests that I have on the show on a regular basis. I want to do something nice for them for Christmas. You came but I have, to the right place. Yeah, I have no idea really what they like, what they don't like, but that's your expertise. This is the perfect place to come for those kinds of things. So tell me how that works. Do I just come in and say, hey, this is what I need? Or how do you build a basket? Well, you can do it a couple different ways. You can, if you know what people like, you can say you want certain types of foods in there. You can give us a dollar limit you can look through our website and see what's there and pick out what you want yourself or we just happen to have some that have already been made up i'm standing here looking and you have coffee there are spices there are syrups there is vinegars there is jams there are jellies there are salsas there are candles jewelry there's christmas decorations there's pottery there are so many (laughs) there really is something that you could put one of everything and the odds are in your favor that whoever you're giving that basket to is going to love something in it. This is true. And the thing that I love, I gotta say about gift baskets is even if I get one and there's only one thing in it that I like, There's almost always something in it the kid likes, the husband likes, and it really is a basket for the masses, which kind of gives you even more props when you give it to somebody as a gift. That's right. What are your hours here? We are open Wednesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you're desperate and you need to come on another day, all you have to do is let us know ahead of time and we'll meet you down here and open up for you. Fantastic. And what is your web address? You mentioned the website a minute ago. Allthingsva.com. Our corporate name is All Things Virginia. Oh, and didn't even talk about the wines. There, there's wine. There's all. There's other stuff you can do for gift baskets. Yes, we have uh, a lot of Shenandoah Valley wines, plus we have value wines from different parts of the world. Facebook, Instagram, are you on those? Oh, we are on both of those. Virginia, Virginia Farmhouse. Virginia Farmhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vicki. Now I have wandered next door and we are chatting with Joy from Traveler's Treasures. And Joy, I was going to ask you, I asked Vicki what her favorite things were in the store, but I'm not sure that I included that in the actual recording because it was part of our conversation after the fact. I love what you have done to this store since the last time I was in. And it hasn't even been that long. You've really added some cool new things here. Yes, I have. I've added a lot of woodworking and a lot of pottery. Does it just come to you? Do people walk in the door and say, hey, carry my stuff? Do you find it somewhere else? Do you, like, surf Facebook and troll places and Instagram to find cool things to put here in the shop? Actually, it was just a process naturally. Of I had a local man, Larry, and uh, woodworking. Mountain Courier did a feature on him, and then all of a sudden, uh, people started coming in. He had recommended me, and it just went off from there. So I have Shirky Woods, I have Stickman, Lou Gonzalez, and several others. My new favorite things. So I love the wooden trays, and that, I believe that's one of your yes, newest your vendors. And they're made locally, so I'll lo- that's always an upside for me. And so I have to tell you a funny story. These cute little cloth things. I have a friend of mine who made one of those for me. I always use them for my ice cream. So I eat my ice cream, haagen out of the little pint container, Mm -hmm. and I always put those on it so that my fingers didn't freeze. Had no idea until I saw it on the Today Show recently that they're perfect to put in under a glass bowl before you put it in the microwave so you don't burn your fingers when you take it out of the microwave. I'm guessing you probably already knew that, and that's why you have them in so many different sizes. I do. Uh, The bowls were really good, but now we went to a dessert plate and a dinner plate size. I felt like such an idiot when I realized, (laughs) oh, wait, you can actually put them in the microwave with whatever you're heating up. It's genius. My other favorite thing, and these have always been my favorite things because you've had them for quite some time, are the adult (laughs) candles and little things over in the corner that have curse words and things on them that basically are reading my mind. They have got to be a big seller for you, especially during the holidays. They sure are. We do. We have a little sassy, a little snarky, and a little edgy over there. And this will continue into the springtime as well. We'll have some neat leather products coming with some sassiness as well. And then you, of course, have you have one of your big focuses is supporting local veterans, supporting veterans, but local veterans with the honey and things like that. Tell me a little bit about some of those products. 
Yes, so we started out with the jams and the jellies and the honey, and then that has brought me other veteran products. I have some soaps and some whip soaps, and it's just grown. Uh, the stick man is actually a veteran, so that is still my main focus. And his canes are amazing. They, I, are. I, they are just, they're like works of art. Whether you need one to walk with or not, you should have one. Yes, he makes canes and the sticks, so they're awesome. So tell me, what are your hours? I am closed on Tuesdays, and during the season then I will be open late on Wednesdays, and I'll probably continue that. And then the rest of the weekdays are 11 to 6. Fantastic. And then I know you have uh, social media. People can find you on Facebook. You do a lot on Instagram. Yes, I have. <laughs> I have liked the ease of Instagram. So, yes, I'm doing some reels and some posts and uh, my Facebook. Yes. And do they just search Traveler's Treasures to find you in both of those places? Yes. And if you talk to your phone, you can say Traveler's Treasures and now Google and everybody else knows about me. Perfect. And address. Tell me exactly where, because I know you're next to Vicki at yes. Virginia Farmhouse. But what is the address here? 118 North. North Main Street in Woodstock. Thank you, Joy, for taking some time. Thank you. Always good to see you. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, you'll hear my conversation with Sue from Clementine Vintage in Strasburg. Got a financial decision to make or a goal to reach, but you don't know where to start? You come to the right place. Introducing Quick Money Chats with the Northern Shenandoah Valley Financial Education Program. Visit tinyurl.com backslash quickmoneychat to schedule a virtual chat with a staff member or trained volunteer. We won't tell you what to do, but we will give you the tools you need to choose wisely. And because Virginia Cooperative Extension is part of Virginia Tech and Virginia State, your land-grant universities, you can be sure that our information is credible and trustworthy. And you'll know that we aren't trying to sell you something. Maybe you want to improve your credit score or reduce your banking overdraft fees, or even figure out if you can afford to buy that car. Sorting through tons of information on the internet can be overwhelming and sometimes it can be hard to know who to trust. Schedule a quick money chat and get the information you need to take action. Go to tinyurl.com backslash quick money chat and get financial education personalized for you. Welcome back to The Valley Today. I am your host, Janet Michael. If you're just joining us, today's show is part of an ongoing series that I'm doing each week this month where I'm sharing some of my favorite places to shop local in our surrounding communities. A few weeks ago, I did the Old Town Walking Mall in downtown Winchester. Last week, I was in downtown Berryville. Today, it's all about Shenandoah County. In the first segment, I chatted with some of my favorite Woodstock small business owners. Next up is the conversation I had with Sue from Clementine Vintage in Strasburg yesterday afternoon. So I am now standing at Clementine's talking to Sue. We're in Strasburg, one of my absolute favorite places. I come here, Sue, even when I don't need anything and still leave with a bag in my hand. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I thank you. My husband probably not so grateful, but I love this place. Tell me a little bit about Clementine's. Clementine in November hit our four year mark, our four year anniversary. So we've been open and we have a very, very diverse amount of people that come in here we kind of hit a lot of different levels of what you could be looking for anything from vintage to new wonderful gift ideas wonderful vintage stuff things that people make a connection with and I think that's why people continue to come back I love that the diversity comes from local businesses local artisans and some of them aren't necessarily even local to the Shenandoah Valley I remember you telling me once that you try to bring things in from other small businesses all over the place because supporting small is your goal absolutely absolutely I'd say a good 70 to 80 percent of our new product is from either local or small business, similar to like an Etsy type business owner. So we do, we'll try a lot of different things and see how it goes. And that's why it's always changing and fresh in here. You'll see a lot of signs around the shop that say fresh picked, 
those are where I put and highlight local small businesses and the products that we get from them. And then we also have fresh picked, which are just the small businesses, the little Etsy shops that may be in North Carolina or West Virginia, but it's still a nice little handmade item that's from a small business. And we love to find those little treasures and bring them here to Clementine. I think sometimes there's a misconception from the outside world for people that own businesses like this, that this must be really easy to curate this kind of inventory and these kinds of things. But you do, you spend a lot of time choosing, finding, I mean, you're going to sales, you're going to on-site auctions, you're trying to find things for this shop all of the time. Always, I'm always on the lookout. I always have my eyes and ears open for new things. I spend a lot of time just doing searches online as well. I love to find things that fit our aesthetic here at Clementine. And it's another way of treasure hunting. As much as I love to look for vintage, even the new fun stuff. We have a meeting this afternoon with a new vendor that we found out of West Virginia. And I can't wait to meet with them and try out their products and hopefully introduce them to our customers too. And that kind of thing for me, it's, it is a lot of work and it does take a lot of time, but that's what I love about Clementine. I try to make the shop a place that I would want to go shop in. And so I'm always looking for things that I would love to see in a store and it's fun being able to change it up and have the freedom to do that myself so I love that I know I can come in here and pick up my favorites like I can come get my bold buffalo candles I can come always find something orange right that goes right. without saying I picked up a beautiful scarf right. when I was here a few weeks ago but you're right when I walk through here I feel like oh, I think Sue picked this out just for me I have to buy this now I, I do have to say that whenever I come across orange it kind of it's a two-pronged success because both between you and me and our orange, I always find fun orange things. And those are fun to spot when you're out vintage shopping as well. You can see my orange wall. I get so many comments on my big orange wall and all the orange things in there. And people are always like, whoa. And I'm like, I know, it's so fun. And people will buy off that shelf and then I'll just find something else orange to pop in there. And I've even had people bring me a few things that are orange but that is definitely something that we have in common and i do have to say if i'm on a website and i'm looking through stuff and i see orange i'm like ooh, janet will like this. janet will get this <laughs> so tell me what are your hours today is wednesday as people are listening to the show next week obviously next weekend is christmas what are your hours through the end of the year we're still open normal hours which is wednesday through sunday noon till six However, I'm here a lot of times outside of those hours, and I do have my little orange chair outside. I always tell people, if you see the orange chair, I'm there. So if you need to shop earlier or later, don't hesitate to send us a message or call us. We'll be happy to meet you. I live close by. A lot of times I'm here in the workshop anyway, so please just let us know. We'll be happy to set up a time to meet you if you can't make it from noon to six any Wednesday through Sunday. And website, do you have a website, social media? Is that how they should reach out to you? Yeah, social media. I think you will really enjoy our social media. I get a lot of compliments on it. We have our Clementine Vintage Instagram and our Clementine Vintage Facebook, which always are kept up to date. If we have something new, we definitely will get a picture and put it up there to let you know what's new and exciting in the shop. People come in all the time and they'll be like, I saw this picture and I just needed to come in. And that's especially good with vintage stuff because it reaches such a wide audience with the social media. We do have a, a website, which is clementinevintage.com. It really has the basics of what we do and what we're about, but the Facebook and the Instagram will have the most up-to-date information on products and vintage that are in the shop. I remember when you posted with the new little orange baskets, the little shopping baskets, yes. and I joked that I was going to come in here and steal one. I cannot tell you how many people that listened to the show reached out to me afterwards <laughs> and said, did you get one of those Clementine <laughs> baskets? And for the record, no, I didn't. But today is a new day, so I, I may leave here That's with right. one today. You're right. <laughs> and they're so cute. They're such a little, they're little market totes that are orange, and they're just such a happy little tote, and it, I find it hard warming when people use them in the shop and they're walking around 
with this little orange tote on their arm and they're filling it up and I just like, oh my gosh, it's working. They're using them and they're so cute yeah. and orange and pretty and happy and we just want you to enjoy your time while you're here and that's just a little part of what we do to help you have a good time while you're in here. And they're perfect size to fill up with any of the jewelry or the candles or the soaps or the little Christmas decor in the back or the signs or the food products or the chalk paint. I mean the, the list is yes, endless of yes. what you can put in that basket yeah, and haul on out of here. Absolutely because obviously the shop is too small to have a shopping cart which of course would probably <laughs> Probably be ideal from a business For standpoint. Me, yeah. But, but you know, you can put the market, the toad on your arm and just walk around and just enjoy your time zone out take a look at everything and hopefully find some stuff to put in there that's what i'm going to do right now so thank you for taking some time and and again you mentioned that if, if your chair is out front or they can reach out to you i'm standing here talking to you on tuesday afternoon yes, yes. because i sent you a message and you met me at the shop absolutely no problem i'm happy to do that i love to be here so if i'm not here i'm happy to meet you fantastic well, that's it for my shop local Shenandoah County conversations. Next up is Luray Page County. I'll be heading there for the afternoon tomorrow. If you have a place you want me to check out, send me a text to 635-4121 or find the show on Instagram and send me a message. You can always get my email address from the station website under the Valley Today podcast tab. I am all about exploring and finding new favorite places, and I would love to know where you shop. Meet you back here tomorrow a few minutes afternoon for a brand new episode of the Valley Today.